In the last part, I stated the little horn of the Sunni beast was President Obama, and the Wahhabi whore who rides the beast is ancient Ishtar who was relocated to her new base in Mecca. The Shia believe the descendants of Muhammad have special political and religious power over the people. The Sunnis believe Muhammad's generals and their descendants hold such power. They also believe Allah does not resemble his creation in any way, and to imagine him in a form is idolatry. Yet they pray to saints to aid their prayers, which the Wahhabis consider idolatry. The Wahhabis believe Allah has a physical body and sits on a throne and is a unique unity. They insist on hatred and violence toward Muslims and non-Muslims who disagree with them. The House of Saud, which rules Saudi Arabia, funds the indoctrination of other Muslims into this sect. Kuwait and United Arab Emirates are also Wahhabi. Shias and Sunnis hate the Wahhabis. Daniel prayed facing Jerusalem three times a day, and Muslims pray facing Mecca five times a day. Revelation 17 And the ten horns which you saw on the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. For God has put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree, and to give their kingdom to the beast, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Osama bin Laden has encouraged attacks against oil targets in Saudi Arabia to create economic chaos in the world. Abakik is the largest oil production facility in the world. About two-thirds of the world's crude goes through Abakik. In 2006, Al-Qaeda rigged their truck bomb wrong. Over half of Saudi Arabia's oil reserves are found in eight fields. In addition to Abakik, other terrorist targets there include Gwawar, the world's largest onshore oil field, and Ras Tanura, its largest offshore oil loading facility. Three major oil pipelines lead across the desert from the oil fields in the east and terminate at the Red Sea in Jeddah and Yanbu. Though the burning of Kuwait's oil fields may have already fulfilled this verse, since Kuwait is Wahhabi, I think Al-Qaeda will soon be successful in setting Saudi Arabia's oil fields on fire. But that will just be man's wrath against the Wahhabi whore of Babylon. God's wrath will finish her off. Revelation 17 One of the seven angels which had the seven vials, saying to me, Come here, I will show to you the judgment of the great whore that sits on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit on a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. According to the Museum of Ancient Near East, the crescent moon and a circle stood for the moon god Sin, and the star for the goddess Ishtar. Jeremiah 51.7 Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Revelation 16, 19 and 20 And great Babylon came in remembrance before God, to give to her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Revelation 18 Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. Alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city! For in one hour is your judgment come. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. In her was found the blood of prophets, and of saints, and of all that were slain on the earth. The 1908 Tunguska Siberia asteroid hit with an estimated explosive energy of 15 megatons. All nations and all kings of the earth have participated in the Saudis' funding of the murders of Jews and Christians by buying their oil and other products. 
saints should move out of Saudi Arabia. Don't believe the lie Jesus was just a good prophet. Jesus claimed to be I am and one with God. Do tell those you love the truth of the gospel. Jesus died for our sins and rose three days later, proving he conquered sin and death for us. Don't take the mark of the beast to buy and sell. Jesus is your provider. He is with you to the end. Refusal to worship the beast may bring your death, so prepare for martyrdom and take up your cross daily. Revelation 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was given to them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark on their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Suicide bombing is a new means for Muslims to kill infidels. Their preferred method throughout the centuries has and continues to be beheading. God will avenge his people. A great millstone has a 42-inch diameter and weighs over 2,000 pounds. It will destroy the heart of the religious economic Babylon system located in the cities of Mecca and Jeddah. According to Revelation 18, it will be destroyed in one hour. It could occur at the beginning of the War of Armageddon on August 23, 2011, or it could be a sooner specific description of the second trumpet. Revelation 8 The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast on the earth. And the third part of the trees was burned up, and all green grass was burnt up. And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel sounded, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. When Comet Shoemaker Levy impacted Jupiter in 1994, it broke apart into dozens of pieces. The first four trumpets describe a similar situation, with smaller pieces raining down upon the earth like fiery hail, then a main portion hitting the sea, with another more radioactive portion hitting a major river system. The aerosol debris kicked up into our atmosphere, then blocks out a third of the light from reaching the earth. I agree with J. Barton Payne that the trumpets and vials will occur in tandem. For the most part, the vials will completely devastate the Muslim countries, which will appear as one-third of the world being affected. Most meteors and many asteroids and comets contain iron. On heating, iron sulfate turns a dirty yellow. When further heated, it releases sulfur dioxide, leaving a reddish-brown iron oxide. According to my timeline, the five months of locusts begins on March 26, 2011. How events will occur prior to that is speculation at worst and prophetic prediction at best. There are many prophets stating California will have its great earthquake the beginning of September in 2010. That would be nine years since 9-11 and the opening of the first seal, and two years prior to Christ's return to earth at the opening of the seventh seal. That earthquake may begin a rapid succession of biblical prophecy fulfillment, like Obama's declaration of deity on the Temple Mount and the comet-asteroid strike of the first four trumpets.